Caribbean nacho. The first thing we're gonna make is the sofrito. The basic has the cow. Some oil, blend it, put the onions in there. That's a lot of garlic. Garlic. Now we're gonna make the brew for the beans. Some olive oil, bacon, and then garlic. Some of the sofrito. The onions, green bell peppers. Add some salt. Okay. Anato or achiote powder. Add pumpkin. Add some tomato sauce. Top it with water so that it can boil for a little bit. Dry pinto beans. Right. Salt, more sofrito. Green bell pepper. And the onion. How long is this going to go? For about an hour. We're going to add that brew to our cooked beans. Now we're making the pork roast. We call it perdin. We have salt, garlic, pepper, oregano, oil. Rub the pork. They're going to go in the oven for about six hours. A hot red chili for our nachos. This is the hot chili puree. Salt, garlic, and oregano. And a little bit of water. And then it's going to boil until it thickens. And on top of these nachos, we're going to use plantains? Yes, fried. Now we're going to build them, the okay. Caribbean nachos. Add the beans, chili sauce, pork, cheese in the oven for about five minutes. Let the cheese melt and then bring it out and garnish it? Yes, Luna Rosa sauce, the recao. That's a different level right there, sister. So I'm here in Nashville on the south side of downtown in an area known as Pie Town. I guess it's because the neighborhood's shaped like a pie. But anyhow, here to check out a joint where a dude had a catering company and, well, pandemic hits, loses 90% of his business, but he adapts and overcomes, as we do in the restaurant business, and opens up a taco joint to keep everybody working. This is Pie Town Tacos. If you can drop me two grilled fish. Pie Town's just different. It has that unique flavor to it. Tofu, rice, and bean bowl. The guy's got a Pie Town taco shirt on. You think he might like the place? <laughs> Do you work here? No, I don't work here. You just have the shirt. You gotta be a big so. fan all the time. And that fan base began with Jason Crockroll's catering company, which has been a national staple since 2006. Y'all doing all right? But it wasn't until 2020 that he took on tacos. COVID hit, you know, our business went down. And so we got all these people we love and care about, we gotta keep them working. So we opened it up, started selling some tacos. Here's your Al Pastor tacos. I love this sort of food. I love nachos and tacos and bowls with rice and beans. Hot chicken nachos up. This is like the Grand Ole Opry of queso and Nashville hot chicken all combined. It's amazing. What's up next? We're gonna make the queso for the hot chicken nachos. You get a little vegetable oil, butter, onion in, garlic, kosher salt, cumin, flour, cook off that roux, green chilies, chicken stock, half and half. We'll start dropping the cheese in little by little. Melt it in there, the goodness. Going over the right. top, nachos. That, was nachos. that going That was going over the top? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the, the culinary sign language, right. going over the top. What's our next step? Hot chicken spice. Guajillo chili, some arbol. Well, you're not missing the hot part here. No, we use the Pekin chili, cayenne, onion powder, garlic powder, kosher salt, and some sugar. And we're going to bloom this in that hot oil? Brings out all that flavor out of yeah. those spices. And how are we dredging that chicken? Chicken breader. Chicken breader. Chicken breader. Don't y'all know chicken breader? Everybody knows chicken breader. Come on now. Come on. Flour, cayenne pepper, black pepper, kosher salt, a little bit more of that guajillo chili, garlic powder, onion powder, milk powder is a binding agent in there for the chicken. We'll add water to it to make a wet powder, so we'll go wet, dry. Dye or? Dye, as always does. Like where this guy rolls. Yeah, chicken we just fried up. That spice that we bloomed earlier. Full hot Nashville hot chicken style. Tortilla chips, queso. Okay, so you gonna put that on? Okay, so I hear you, brother. Throw that hot chicken right over the top. Cotilla cheese, chopped cilantro. That's all she wrote. <laughs> no? Hey. You look good. No, you get a little hanger there. No, a little hanger. Okay. okay. I don't think you could ever say a little hanger and ever have it sound good. <laughs> Those are good chips. Great texture, amazing crunch. The cotija is perfect. Good cheese sauce. I can't sell it with my mouth fast enough, by the way. When you tell people in Nashville that they're getting Nashville hot chicken nachos, you got to deliver it. Legit, my friend. We got some hot chicken nachos. How legit is the hot chicken? I mean, it's the best you can get where it is, as far as the spices and everything. Best queso in town. It's just delicious. This place is open year round, and they are offering ski resort food like you haven't seen before. This is Highlands Ale House. Hi, Las Philly for table 26. Having a great place like the Ale House at the base of the mountain is a treat for all of us. Awesome. Chicken sandwich. 
pounds. The lift is right there. And this is usually where you come and get the frozen chicken tenders. No frozen here. Frozen's out there. Fresh is in here. Yeah. Elevating the slope side menu was a gamble. Excuse me, ladies. Taken by owner Kevin Joseph. Enjoy. There were six restaurants in 12 years before I took it over. And his secret weapon, Chef Miguel Izquierdo, shredding in the kitchen. Miguel and I get it all day from customers. They're like, wow, the food's actually amazing. You're a ski resort, and it's good food. Highland nachos with carnitas coming out. We specifically bring people here to try the nachos. They are loaded, layered, and we love it. So we're going to make some carnitas, then we're going to place those in our nachos. Uh, boneless butt or bone-in? Bone is the flavor. Break this down. Then I salt it. What are we going to cook this in? In lard and bacon fat. Cook this one until it's a nice bone color. This is what we're talking about, that golden brown color. Oh, yeah. We're going to squeeze some uh, oranges into it. You leave the oranges in there, too. Now the garlic in. Stand back. <laughs> Careful. And then we're going to pour all that water in there. In the oven, three hours, stir every 20 or 30 minutes. Correct. Got it. We use fresh uh, guacamole for our nachos. Fresh avocado every day. Jalapenos without the seeds. Chopped down nice. Same thing with the onion. Cilantro, lime juice, and a little salt and pepper. Delicious. Money. What do we got next? The cheese sauce. Our cheese, cheese fondue. Sauce. Cheese fondue. Fondue. You've got roux. Salted butter, all-purpose flour. So you're going to warm the milk up before you drop it in? Sharp cheddar and asadero cheese. Asadero is like pretty close to Monterey. And then the milk and cheese to the roux. Oh, OK. We are the chips. We're making two nachos or one? It's one nacho, but I would like to get melt like every and everywhere, you know? Okay. So I have to make two layers. So in the oven? Probably six, seven hundred degrees right now. Just slice it off. We got to add some carnitas. Oh, yeah, it just falls apart. Beautiful. Red fried beans. Oh, well, good thing when you're eating this, you're going to go work it off on the, <laughs> on the mountain. Cheese sauce. And this is just the one beginning layer of the second one. You're not going to get a bad bite. So we have the pico de gallo first. You need a bigger plate. Fresh guac, pickled jalapenos, and it's with the crema. Mm. Every chip has got to have the good. Have it. Yep. The way you make the carnitas is really moist. So the pickled veggies are money on that. Really good guac, too. Mm. These are a deconstructed taquito. Yep. It's got the crunch, it's got the ingredients. Exactly. This is probably one of the best nacho presentations I've seen, OK? Killer. One more minute on the carnitas. It's not just the first layer. You get down into the bottom, and it gets better and better. Can't beat it. I'm looking for elevated bar food at a joint that's serving up something called barnchos. This is Born in a Bar. Chili cheese for an app in the window. There's burgers and wing joints all over the place, but this place, that's the standard. Smoked wings, Carolina sauce for you. The atmosphere, the service is wonderful. The bar is really fun. Whether you're wanting to party a little bit on game day or just looking for a meal. The food is, like, amazing, like the nachos. Barn shows, eh? I love the barn shows. That's my go-to, usually. You have those crispy pub chips that come fresh out of the fryer. Then you get that smoked pork in with the queso. And that's an appetizer for our whole family. Everybody enjoys it. What are we making first? Just the basic rub for our pork shoulders. Salt in first, pepper, brown sugar. The emphasis on the brown. Paprika, onion powder, granulated garlic. Dry rub it. Let's go to the smoker. 225, and we smoke 18 hours. Shred it up. All right, what are we making? This is our house-made queso. Heavy cream. Emphasis on the heavy. Easy melt cheese, pepper jack, little Swiss. And that's it. Now we're going to make our barbecue sauce. Good, good old molasses. Good, 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 good old good, molasses. Good, good. Honey, brown sugar, yellow mustard, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. dark rum. Yes. Black pepper, dark chili powder. Kitchen sink is next. Clove, allspice, liquid smoke. That base cooks down, then we add that ketchup. That's our sweet and smoky barbecue right OK. There. We're going to do our hot buffalo. Again, on the flat top. Two pounds of butter in there. Cayenne, ghost chili powder. Celery salt, paprika, crushed red pepper, hot sauce. Once they're cooked down, we'll mix them together for the sauce for the barnchos. Bar All right, let's talk about these. Those are some of the crunchiest potato chips I've ever had in my life. How many rinses do they get? Three, and our brine is ice cold water, white distilled vinegar, and kosher salt. Let that rest at least 24 hours, then we'll fry them. A little seasoning, toss, that's our base. Now we're going to build our barnchos, our shredded pork, bacon, hot queso. I got to get every chip a little love. Our pork, a little bit of bacon on top, cheese, diced red onion, a little jalapeno, the spicy barbecue. That's barncho. Dude, the barbecue sauce is awesome. 
The cheese sauce, delicious, not too much. Good smoke on the pork. Love the big chunks of bacon. I thought that I was going to find the hole in this. I can't even make a hole in this. I've been digging into this thing for a while. Those are legit. Shut the front door, back door, shut the barn door. Cheese and barn shows. The queso is delicious, and that spicy barbecue sauce adds a little bit of kick in there. They're not stingy with the meat, so you're always going to get a good portion. I don't know that I could finish that with three friends. I don't think I could either. Do you want some? I'm just coming out of my food coma from when I had them. Chicken mac entree ready for pickup. Their chicken, the fries, everything. Like, this is the best place. It is the spot in Laramie, bar none. When it's something as simple as a burger or the barn shows, if you're going to do it, you got to do it right from the very beginning elements, and you're doing it. So I'm here in Sparks, Nevada, just about a mile or two outside of Reno. I bet you they're doing some real deal barbecue. This is Carolina Kitchen and Barbecue Company. We did the chicken wing competition. We did first place for about five years. Five wing nachos up. The smoked wing nachos are awesome. Everything that you usually see on nachos now suddenly is on chicken. They're just devastating. We have our chicken wings. We're going to make our smoked wing nachos. We're going to rub them down with some oil. Oil only. That's it. Well, no salt, no pepper now. Not yet, because we're going to deep fry them. We don't want that char flavor on the rub. OK. That's a big wing. There's a couple wingless pterodactyls out there. Smoke them for about 45 minutes. 275. OK, come out of the smoker, into the fryer. All right, what are we into? Dry rub, which is half Cajun seasoning, half rib rub. This is our Cajun seasoning, paprika, salt, granulated garlic, black pepper, white pepper, onion powder, ground thyme, dry mustard, and chili powder. Got it. Now we're going to go rib rub, salt, white pepper, paprika, black pepper, chili powder. This is going to get interesting in a second. Sugar? White sugar. Brown sugar clumps. Granulated garlic. You don't find the burn on the white sugar? No, I like it. You've won competitions with this rub. I have. I won't tell anybody. Shh. Do a little half and half here. And this is what we're going to sprinkle on the wings. Hit it with some moonshine barbecue sauce, cheese, bacon. Pop it in the oven for a minute. OK. But where are the tortillas? There are no tortillas. The wing is the nacho. It has all the toppings on it. All right. This I got to see. Diced tomato. How are you going to get the tomato to stay on the chicken one? Green onion, spicy ranch, sour cream. <laughs> it's a really good wing. I love the smoke, a little fry to it. The Nucci tortilla chip, you get the crunch of the outside of the wing. The cheese melts on really nice. Then you have the bacon sticking to it, so you get all best of both worlds all over it. You hit that moonshine sauce on there, which is dynamite. You get yourself some of the cool sour cream. That's one of the most unique dishes I've seen on Triple D, and you actually pull it off. Well done. Thank you. There's so much going on here, but it all works really, really well. Sour cream on a wing is delicious. It's something I haven't had. They're amazing.